Good morning, everyone. We are going to be working on today a new craft honoring the wise men. We're going to be making a stained glass window showing the wise men traveling through the night following the star. So you have a couple things in your craft packet. The biggest one is this black foam mat. What you need to do is pop out the main section, like China's already done, and pop out the star section. We're going to do that, and then we're going to pop out the wise men, but we'll do that a little later. The next thing you have in there is a whole bunch of different color little pieces of tissue paper that are cut into squares. They're in lots of different colors. That's what we're going to be using for the stained glass. You also have a clear sheet of plastic. Now this project is going to take us a little more time than usually our projects take. What we need to do first is you need to have your mom or dad help you and you need to get a plastic cup or a small dish, preferably something you can throw out, a paper cup, a Dixie cup, anything like that. And you want to mix together, I've already done it here, is you want to mix together some white glue, some Elmer's glue, something like that, and some water because you want to get a nice liquidy mixture here because the first thing you have to do in this craft is you have to completely cover one side just one one side of your plastic sheet this is probably a project you also want to do um, on a surface that can be wiped down maybe maybe a table maybe put some newspapers down um, this can get a little bit messy um, so first thing we want to do Trent you want to come around here is we want to take <clears throat> our paintbrush and we want to just cover our whole plastic sheet with liquid glue that is what we're gonna do. You wanna come around and do some? Come around the other side. All right, go ahead. So while Trent is doing that, you need to cover the entire service, surface. I'm gonna get these ready. So you need to pull these little sheets apart. You can use whatever colors you want, whatever pattern you want, anything. It's up to you. You can use just some of the colors or all of the colors. You wanna pull them apart so they're just single sheets. A lot of them you'll see that they look like they're a single sheet and then if you you kind of bend them a little bit, you can see that you've actually got three or four sheets. So after you're done, you want to take these and you want to put them down on the plastic with the glue. You can put them in any kind of pattern you want. You can overlap them a little bit. Make sure you cover the whole surface with glue so everything sticks down very nicely. And you want to create your background for the wise men traveling. So I'm going to keep sticking these on here. I'm going to show you what I've got done so far. Trent's got this covered in glue, and I've got a bunch of sheets on. So what we're going to do now, Trent and I, is we're going to cover this whole piece with sheets. All right, so everybody can, can follow along at home. And we're going to stick these all on here. You want to cover up as much of the clear plastic as you can, because when you hang this in a window, it looks really cool that you can see all the colors. Looks like maybe like a starry, starry night sky, the Milky Way. You see it below it, behind the wise men. Um, the other thing we wanna talk about is as we're doing this, if a little bit of the paper is overhanging off your plastic sheet, that happens sometimes in certain areas, don't worry about it. When we're all done with the craft, you can take a pair of scissors and just trim all the edges that stick out off and it makes it look nice and neat and tidy and you don't have to worry about it at this point. All right there, we're getting pretty close, Trent and I, to being done. I think we need a little more glue. You'll find at times too, there's areas that don't stick. Just get your paintbrush out, put a little more glue on there, get it nice and wet and these will stick right on. Yep, see this guy right here is not working. I'm gonna put a little glue on him, moosh him down. Yeah, my, our glue actually dried up pretty quick here, so we're gonna add a little bit all over. Do, 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 do. What do you think, bud, how's it looking? Okay, now it says in the directions you should let this dry for a little bit, which I suggest that you do. Everything else will stick easier to it if it is dry, but Trent and I are gonna go ahead and try and finish this without letting it dry. Although things are coming off and sticking to Trent right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna move forward. 
Okay, so the next thing that you want to do is you want to find this piece with the wise men that we talked about earlier. At this point, you want to go ahead and pop out all your wise men. I'm going to pop out the first one. Go very carefully because they're carrying the gifts that we just spoke about, the frankincense, gold, and myrrh. You don't want to knock those little gifts off. You also see that some of the wise men have little little pieces that you can pop out. You got to be very careful that you don't damage the foam. All right? So we got one. We got two. And we got three. Now, if you take the time to let your your plastic sheet dry, now will be a good time to cut off the excess. If you're not going to, I will wait until it does dry to cut it. Okay. <clears throat> so, the next thing we want to do is we want to take the frame. And take off the backing. All right. Now I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit because again, mine is not dry. I'm not going to attach this to the dry side. I'm going to, or to the wet side, I'm going to attach this to the dry side. You can attach it to whatever side you want, but you need to be careful that you don't glue it down to the table. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over because I've got a nice surface to work here. And you want to line this up with the plastic sheet. Probably the star is the most important part to get lined up and then the rest of it should fall into place. My bottom is sticking up here a little bit, but I think it works. Da -da -da -da. Look at that. Again, I didn't trim mine yet. You see I got a little plastic sticking out the bottom. I can trim that later. But if yours is dry, you can do it on the other side. Whoop, there goes my things. And then the next thing we want to do after that is we want to put the wise men on. Now the wise men can go in whatever order you want. You stick them on there. They're your wise men. Here, Trent. Trent and I are going to go ahead and stick these guys on here. Just remove the backing, just like the other ones. I'm going to put this guy, I think, I'm going to put him last. Where do you want to put that guy? And you can kind of spread them out so they look like they're, you know, they're walking, they're processing together, carrying their gifts. Where do you think about that one, buddy? Them on. Very cool. There we go. So we have our three wise men. The very last thing you can do, and you don't have to do this. This is if you choose, you, if you'd like to hang this up. These look pretty cool in a window. So after, you need to make sure it's dry at this point. After you're done and this is all dry, you got a little white square that came in your bag. What you can do is you can cut this, this square into smaller pieces. And then you can take the foam, uh, the adhesive backing, paper backing off of it so you reveal the adhesive. And you can attach the cord to the back with the two little white foam so you can hang it up in a window. All right. Well, that's our craft. I hope you don't make too much of a mess. And I hope you have fun doing it. We'll see you all soon. Bye.